Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the island. Doing a little bit of farming with the parasaur, getting some berries ready for us. We're gonna be making a long neck today, and then we need to make some darts for it, which is why I was getting all the narcotics and stuff ready. Got some spoiled meat, and then we're gonna make the saddle for the bird that we got in the last video, and hopefully, everything will be good with it. We'll take it for a trip, man. Kinda do a little bit of exploring on it, and like I said, I wanna head up to the blue obelisk. But, let's get these doors closed. And then we'll take a look at some stats. See how the bird turned out. So it turned into a level 167. It is a female. Its health is 2000. Stamina is 378. Weight is 231. Damage is 338. And movement speed 136.5. So the thing is, that is very, very low weight. Right now, we are 78, and we don't have much on us that we can get rid of. We can get rid of some of the flak and stuff, and then, well, let's just see. We're leaving some of the stuff here. We won't need those anymore, or that. We'll probably keep the pike, just in case. And what are we at now? We're at 52. Why do we have berries in there? Actually, all this is in the wrong spot. Aha, there we go. And if we got rid of the flak, that'll be even better. Let's throw these berries in there, too. So what are we down to? We're down to 26. So that weight should be fine on it. Let's go ahead and get a saddle made up first. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's, how much more narcotics have we got? We got 51 there. Before they spoil, I got quite a few of the berries. I've been trashing all the other stuff. Let's grab some spoiled meat. You make a lot of noise over there, man. I'm just saying. Um, let's go to this one. Oh, yeah. I got some spark powder making up, too, so we can make some gunpowder. See, so we we'll, might be able to get the rest in there almost. Let's... We'll let that finish. And then for the saddle... I think that's made in a smithy, right? Nope, our inventory. All right, I do got the chitin. Oh, dude, I found one of the trilobites, man, right outside of base here. So that is going to go very, very well for collecting that. I don't know if it, they just weren't showing up, but I didn't see them until nighttime. And it was just one, but, dude, I got, like, almost 100 chitin off of it. And I don't see any more since. So I don't know. I don't know if that's just, like, a one-time thing or what, but it was, like, right there, man. If we can have those every day, that would be fantastic. We got some silica pearls from it, a little bit of oil, stuff like that. So we need that. What else do we need? We need some fiber and some hide. As you can see, we're doing fantastic on hide now. Well, that thing needs a whole bunch of hide, doesn't it? Holy crap. All right. One saddle coming up. Let's go ahead and throw the rest of this stuff back. Our whole one piece of chitin that's left over. <laughs> well, I tell you what, man. And then that. Cool. There's our saddle. Let's throw it on our bird. I know we don't have any paint for it yet, but that's fine. I think we're going to put points into... Well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how the stamina is on stuff like that. So, All right. So all this is done. Let's make up all of those. And yeah, we're going to need to get some more meat to throw in. I might have some spoiled in here. Ah, oh, man, that's almost, almost spoiled. It's taking forever. I did cook up what we had in here, so we got 43 pieces of the meat is what we ended up with. All right, we'll let that go. We're going to have too many berries, I think. We don't have enough, depending on how much of that spoils. And then we'll throw this into here. Hold on to that for a minute, man. I want to take this bird for a flight while we're waiting for stuff. Cool. Let's check it out. It's a lot smaller than I thought, man. They look a lot bigger. But, like I said, it has that ability to land on the water. And it's kind of like a little boat, man. <laughs> Almost don't need the gator. Ooh, I need your... I need your polymer, man. 
But anyways, let's do a quick test, see how our stamina looks. We're probably going to need to put a little bit into that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. So we'll do... Goes up quite a bit. Let's go to 450. Oh, that's all of our points. And then the next ones we'll probably put into health and weight. We're not going to be using this too much for fighting. I just want to use it to, to be able to get around, you know. So that'll work. Cool. All we have left to do now is we can probably make up the long neck. And we're just waiting on the rest of the stuff to get the darts. I want to make the shocking ones. See if I have it unlocked. I do. So we got the metal and we got the biotoxin. Three for each one. And then it's after we make the darts anyways, so... Take you. Let's grab what we have in here. I don't know if we're going to actually use that for anything. Like, if we're going to see anything that we want to try to take out, but, I mean, never know. Good to have it with us. What are we missing? Oh, we need simple rifle ammo first. All right, tell you what. I need to make up a whole bunch of gunpowder. Let's see how much charcoal have we got. Not too much. So we're not going to be able to make too many, but that's the whole point of the shocking ones because... They do a lot more damage and stuff. So let me get this stuff made up, and then we'll come back and make us the long neck. We'll make the darts. We'll make the shocking ones. We have to do that in the fabricator. And then we'll jump on the bird and go for a flight, man. Head north a little bit. Oh, dude. We're being attacked. Stupid seagull, man. Everything went nuts. I lost. Are we stuck? We're stuck. I lost some narco berries, a couple stacks of those. Where'd the bird go? Did you kill it? Man. It's like it spawned inside of there. Holy crap, dude. All right. So, <laughs> didn't get too much done. We're going to get about 300 on the gunpowder out of this. So that's not too bad. We should be able to make a couple of the darks. Probably about 30 or so of them, I'm guessing. Let's go ahead and see what we need for the long neck. Start making that up. Just need some hide. Not a problem. I stopped making the narcotics because we're not going to have enough to make that many. So, go ahead and get the gunpowder made. So, that's our long neck. And then we'll take... We'll leave those there. I just need the gunpowder and probably a little bit more metal I'll put over here. Cool. So, that is done. We'll put that down there. Oh, we're out of metal. So that's it that we have on metal. A little bit here. That's the other thing. So it's going to take metal for the simple bullets. And then for the darts, also need metal. Ah, oh, man. Let's see how much gunpowder we got made up. All right, dude. Do you need to be out of the way, please? The gator's over there all broken looking in the corner. <laughs> I'll tell you, man. He was going crazy for that bird. I mean, the little short stubby legs does not help out at all. It's all right. We'll leave him there. He'll be all right in the corner. So I think we'll get two per. So we can only make nine. What are we missing? It's going to be gunpowder, right? All right. Let's go ahead and make some darts. Be 18 of those, and then it'll be enough to make up some of these. If I can get about 30, like I said, I think we'll be fairly well. Yeah, it's still going to take a little bit. We'll get about another 110, so about 170 more or so. So that should be right at 13. Wait, how are we doing on narcotics? we got 20 in there. I'll probably need to make up a little bit more of that, too. Got a couple here. It's going, man. It's going. It's a slow process with just the one mortar and pestle. I might end up making a second one. If we're going to build a lot and just move the campfire maybe outside and put one or two more of the mortar and pestles there. That's what I usually do is have a couple. Make stuff go a lot faster, man. All right, so here's where we're at in life. We're doing fairly well. We have exactly 30 of the darts made, waiting for some more of the narcotics, but I might actually just leave it like it is. We can make up some more of the simple bullets and stuff, but I think for 30, that'll be fine for right now. Let's go ahead and make up what we have. 
I don't really want to waste everything at the moment. Wait, 15. What are we missing? Ah, a little bit of metal. I'm say, don't tell me it's like two per, man. I have to grab some out of here. Yeah, it's the other thing. We're going to be really, really shy on metal, so... I think we're kind of at a good place with 30 of them. That'll make up the last nine of those. These are kind of timed anyways, too. It lasts a good little bit. I think it's like two or three real hours for each one. Ah, oh, four hours. So that's it's even better, man. All right, cool. So there's that. We have 30 of those. We have one bolo, which is fine. We got our pike. I think that's kind of all we need. Let's grab a little bit more food. And like I said, I don't expect to tame anything today, but I do want to take a look out for stuff, and it's good just to have that on us in case we do see something. Let's go ahead and get him spun back around. All right, man. You guys don't go nuts, all right? We'll be back. I'm taking the monkey with me. Make sure we're empty. Cool. So. Let's put your point into health. And a little bit into weight. So, yeah. I know the blue obelisk is up that way. So, maybe we'll kind of go around here to the green one. See what we can see. And then head up towards the blue one. Like I said, I know there's a ton of resources up there, and that's the main thing I'm kind of out for, is seeing how far of a run it is, and what we got up there. Maybe set up a bed, so that I can do quick teleports in between. And I want to find out where the Argentavises are. I kind of want to get one of those soon, because that's one of our main sources of... There's a lot going on over there. Main sources of hauling for long distances. Since I don't want to make a second base anywhere right now. So... Let's hit up here. I want to take a look at the green obelisk as well to see what's required for the boss fights. I haven't looked online. I know there's a lot of Ingrams on this map. Or not Ingrams, but artifacts. And it turns out that cave that we were in is an artifact cave. So somebody left me one of those comments on a video. I wasn't sure if it was just a regular cave or if there's an artifact in there. And apparently, we do need to go back. We also need to find either a Thyla or a Sabertooth. Those are my favorite kind of cave animals that we have so a lot of stuff to look for man a lot of stuff to look for and we need to look for a place to land to get stamina holy crap that would have been bad dude running out of stamina right above the swamp makes me nervous kind of sitting here he needs to re regain his stamina a little bit faster all right good enough we need to get a berry, too. That's what I get for whenever we tame the basil. They take out those mantas really, really good, man. With his little swipe, or tail swipe thing he does. And those are usually found in a swamp. Ah, I see a raptor. Dude just wants to stop and get a little bit of stamina. So this... Oh, dude! Uh-huh. This is a bad place to sit is what it is. <laughs> so there's the green obelisk. That's that river that we ended at with the... I think it was the last video when we were on the Sarko. So that's actually not far from base either. To swim right up here. Let's go ahead and put this into... Let's do stamina, man. I'm having to land quite a bit for... For stamina, for flying on them. Hopefully there's nothing too bad around here. I'm kind of worried about Gigas. I don't know where they spawn on this map. And there's a Carno. See if we can get up here without any problems. Hmm. I look around here for some stuff too. Alright, nothing come at me please. <laughs> Give a guy just a minute. All right, so for this one, oh, that's right. There's three different um, bosses to beat. It's not just all the same one three times. It's actually nine. So this one's for the big spider. We need artifact of the clever hunter and massive. And then that one has, oh, man, 
all the same ones, plus some of the Apex parts. So we do need to start keeping the Gator skins and all that other stuff too. And then for the Alpha, it's the same, same ones and just more of everything. All right, so that's not too bad, man. That's going to be the easier one, I think, to fight. I have to start thinking about what we want to take into these. So is that just, uh... How do you get up here? I didn't see a walkway. Oh, it's right there. Okay, cool. We need to get some crowd pods made. Can we make that in here? Or do they only have to be made in drops? Nope, we can make it here. I actually have everything we need. I just need to get some polymer. I need to make up, I don't know, two or three of those here as soon as I can. Really need to find a way to get polymer a little bit easier. As soon as we find some obsidian, we'll kind of be set. The Hesperonis just, man, they take forever to respawn, and you only get a couple out of each one. Oh, dude, there's an Alpha Raptor. Dude's just munching away down there, too. Kind of a neat area, though. All right, let's see where we're at on the map. I'm going to continue up this way, and then we'll cut across the top until I find either Argentavis or Sabretooth and Thylas. So there's a beehive for getting honey. I know there's two different kinds of bees, so those are the ones I think that you can't tame. I think these are the ones you can just steal honey from, and that's it. I think it's the big beehives on the ground where you actually get the honey from, like, the bee, and then you can capture it and take it back to base. I'm not too sure on that. I'll have to look it up. But, dude, there's a bunch of them over here. I have to remember that for, like, veggie cakes and stuff. It's not far from base. It's right over by the green obelisk. We literally just left the green obelisk, which is, well, I mean, right there. Nice, nice. Love it when resources are all pretty close to base. This is one of the mountains that's pretty close by, and dude, there is a ton of metal down there. There's a Dodic. I wonder if there's going to be any obsidian and crystal at the top. I don't know if this is where the Giga spawn. I know it's one of the mountains. Yeah, there's metal all over up here. I know it's one of the mountains the Giga spawn at, and you got to be careful of. Oh, Argentavis. Nice. And crystal. Dude. What level are you? 16. Way too low of a level, but... I know where they're at now. There's not too much else up here. I didn't see any obsidian. Oh, dude, we're out of stamina again. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, dude, you got... Yep, gonna take damage. Hmm, well... I think that's Carno Island over there. That's the one that has, like, all the wrecks and all the stuff that'll kill you on it. Yeah. All right, dude. Let's go, man. Landing too much. Taking up too much time. I still haven't gotten any drops yet. I need to do some drop runs since we have the bird. I think that's uh, it's a red one over there, red obelisk. We'll hit that one on the way back, see what the requirements are for the boss fights on that one. Stop over here by this little lake that's in the trees. I think what we're going to do, man, we're going to steal this guy's stuff real quick. It's the other good thing about having this bird versus a pterodon is he can land on the water when you find the beaver dams. You got to land, though, dude. Land. There you go. Stay right there, man. You'll be all right. Oh, he had a whole bunch in there, too. Yep, yep, yep. We're gone, man. I hear you coming. <laughs> is that another one down there or is that a rock? Nah, it's just rocks. Oh, is this more of the Hesperonis, though? For Polymer. Yeah, I really need to get an Argentavis, man. A lot of resources out this way to harvest with them. So, if anything, it's been a good day because we got almost four full stacks of cementing paste. Next stop is going to be... I don't know if we can go up on the mountain. I got high fortitude, but... It is going to be pretty cold up there, I take it. What time is it? It's getting kind of late in the afternoon, too, so temperature will be dropping. Let's put this into stamina again. Oh, are these redwoods? Dude, this might be where we find a Thyla at. Yeah, we're 
We're not doing too good, man. We're uh, <laughs> we're ice cubing. Let's just go a little bit up here. So there's a UD. We'll need one of those for the boss fights for sure. And these aren't redwoods like I thought. There's a whole bunch of UDs. Oh, dude. Argentavis, too. Let's see if we can just cut across here, man. Oh, I hope the blue obelisk isn't in the cold zone. Dude, I was trying to get this drop, man. And are we in a bad spot or what? We got a Rex over there. We got Dillos on us. Let's want to see what's in the drop, man. <laughs> just let a guy have a minute. Alright, you get your stamina. Let me get this. Oh, we got a blueprint, and that's it. Ah, dude, that was so not worth it, man. Let's see what level this Rex is over here. We will be needing some of those for the boss fights, I know. Either that or Spinos. Ah, low level, man. Level 16. 24. You know what we should make, too, is the net launcher. Go ahead and make one of those, since we have the fabricator and stuff. That'll make it a lot easier to get some stuff tamed without building traps all the time. And dude, where did this fog come from? Holy crap. I think we're almost up at the area I was wanting to check out for sure. Oh, dude, look at that Titanosaur spawning in. Oh, that is crazy. He kind of just dropped from the ceiling. Well, since we're over here, <laughs> let's take a look at him. Dude looks massive, man. Only one we've seen is on Scorched Earth. Level 4. Are they always level 4? Seems like all the ones I've seen have been level 4. And we are ice cubing again. Cool colors. Black and red. Oh, I can't land on them. I was going to say, man, a guy needs some stamina. Oh, some crystal. Ah, oh, man. I wish you could tame them. Like, by yourself. Dude is just walking all over me. Holy crap, dude. Don't step on me, man. I'm fragile. <laughs> ah, those things are always so awesome, man. All right. Continuing on our trek. So it turns out the blue obelisk is in the cold zone. We need to hurry up, get up here, see what the requirements are, and then get back down because we are really starting to take health damage. I guess I could use this. Sometimes that'll change the ice cube to a snowflake, but I think it's too cold. Yeah, it's zero degrees up here, man. All right, he's got his stamina back. Let's get up here. Hopefully nothing's on the platform. We'll take a look, and then we definitely need to build some of the winter armor to come up here. But see, that's a problem, man. This is where all the resources were supposed to be that I saw on the map online. Blue drop, we'll grab that on the way out too. All right, so what do we got on this one? Okay, this one's the big ape. So three artifacts and then a little bit different stuff. So we kind of need to keep all of the extra parts that we get from stuff. See, that's one thing on the other maps, like the newer ones, like Genesis and stuff, you don't need all those extra parts. So it kind of makes it pointless to have them, you know? Let's grab this drop and get out of here. We are down to half health, almost half. Hopefully something good. Nothing. Boy, I tell you what. That's <laughs> the way it goes sometimes. All right, man, let's head down to here towards this red one. And then we'll hit the red obelisk and probably call it after that one, man. Just a little bit of exploring today. Not too much. And the only thing I've seen that I want to tame is mainly the Argentavis, and I haven't seen a high level one. Speaking of that, there's one down there. Low level. See, that's a problem I'm having. Everything is super low level right now. Never been so happy to see the beach man. Dude, we almost died. The saber tooth are right here, though. <laughs> Let's get up here and land. See if we can't find any saber tooth at a decent level. Yeah, we definitely need to get some health back, man. So, that red drop just disappeared right as I was getting up to it, which kind of sucks. But I think the saber tooth are mainly going to be just right over there. I saw quite a bit. Over there when I was cutting across, and then right here. Those are hyenas. Thought I saw a saber tooth. So 
another Alpha Raptor. Oh, there's a Scorpions. Okay, cool. So if we need some chitin, there's a lot up here. Do I thought for sure I saw a saber? Must have just been the dogs or the hyenas running. Ah, kind of sucks, man. I haven't seen any saber tooth anywhere. And I haven't seen the Redwood Forest. It might be in the middle. That's one place we haven't been to. Well, it's been a pretty uneventful flight. This is the last obelisk. See what this one's going to be. I think it's just three more of the artifacts, I'm guessing. Oh, dude. Yeah, don't go anywhere, man. So this one's a dragon again. Where are you going, dude? There you go. <laughs> he was like, I'm going to just sneak off this way, man. So yeah, the dragon, and it does take four on each one of these. Oh, dude, we need Giga Hearts. Oh, man. And then Wheel Blubber. Oh, we got to kill. We got to kill some of the, the squid down below. I've never killed those before. I usually try to stay away from them. Oh, man. You need 10 of those. 10 of the tentacles from those. T-Rex aren't a big deal. Neither are UDs. Hmm. Interesting. A lot of stuff, man. Oh, dude. We got to do a lot of farming. It's kind of the way it used to be with Ark, though. I kind of like it. And there's a Megalodon right there. Holy crap. And jellies. It's not safe, man. Whole place is not safe. I'm just saying. Well, a little bit of exploring today. Not too bad. Gonna try to get stuff together for the harpoon launcher. Try to get us an Argentavis, and then we'll go from there. Start building up our arsenal a little bit more and try to get some more tames. Try to start doing some cave runs too, since we live right next to one. Anyways, let me go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.